Hello there, everybody. It's me, Phoenix Blue, and League of Legends has found a way to suck me back in. So I'm going to say a few things about myself, and uh, I guess I'm going to interject myself into some of this drama between two League streamers because I feel I have something to contribute. Oh, well... I was gonna write a script for this, but you know, I'm not a professional uh, YouTuber anymore. I'm just a person. I work. You know, I uh, have jobs. But, uh, you know, I, I have had uh, some videos about League of Legends. I had, you know, a, a couple hundred thousand view videos. I uh, did some guides back in the day. But I'll talk more about myself. In fact, I'll, I guess uh, I guess a little bit of this video is gonna talk about myself as a neutral observer between these two streamers, uh, Voy Boy and Hashinshin, and their argument and <clears throat> how we as a community try to find predators or bad people online and Twitter drama and all that. I'll talk about my unique qualification on making a decision in this case. So, I guess I uh, talked about my league history. You might begin this in your video feed because I uploaded some league video. It was like, I don't know, 10 years ago. And it was like, oh, hey, it's that guy. Um, to talk about myself, I, uh, you know, I think uh, I probably have avoidant personality disorder. Or some type of problem that just it makes me afraid or abandon people or makes me very cautious of people. So when I was kind of an up and coming, you know, League of Legends personality, I don't think I'm gonna go that far and say like I was the cat's pajamas or anything. But when I got all these compliments from people talking about oh how oh you're cool vincent or no they didn't know my name you're cool phoenix blue or you're cool well i guess you might know my name i changed my name to vincent legend now i go by interloper but it's to, to me praise from anonymous people it almost feels the same as people you know attacking you for no reason it's just like you don't know me you don't know you know, if I'm a good person or not. And for this case, I, I, I want to come off as a good person. I want to come off as someone that knows a lot about victims, since we're talking about, you know, online predators and that type of thing. And uh, how we how we deal with, like, uh, these situations. I, uh, because of my unique... I don't know, I'm going to say disability. Self-diagnosed. I never see a psychiatrist. I, I never will. Like uh, like I said, I avoid I avoid people. You know, I walked away from my YouTube platform. Everyone scares me. That's just me. And I'm fine with that, for the most part. I mean, like, I have my own life. I try to get around the best I can. But my life has kind of put me in a situation where I relate to like a lot of people, like a lot of my friends, or people who were not long for life. Almost a lot of people that I've been really connected to have died due to like some cancer, or some blood problems. And uh, you know, for an avoidant type of person like me, that's kind of, yes, it's, it's, it's a give and take relationship with life. But, you know, I've come across plenty of, you know, victims of sexual violence. I've come across pedophiles. And, uh, you know, to a certain... Even one time, like, I kind of did a boy boy of, like, yo, these people are predators, you know. You need to... You need to get away from these people. These people are bad. I, I tell that to some of the groups, some of my community. And... I think there's a big difference between Boy Boy and I. I... I guess I'll talk about this little point. Boy Boy... I, 
I saw his recent video, and I did a heartfelt message. I was Hashinshin's first... I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Hashinshin. I was his first Twitch mod. Okay? And, you know, I, I've... Due to my personality, you know, sometimes I... And this might be shitty on my end. I probably, I probably should admit this, but sometimes I dox people. You know, sometimes I try to get background information on people just so I see if they're trustworthy or not. You know, it's a kind of a defensive mechanism for me. But, like, I I learned a little bit about Hashinshin. And, uh, basically my story to Voy Boy was, hey, I'm, I'm, you know, I wasn't looking for clout or anything. I just said, Voy Boy, I disagree with you. And I didn't want to come off as condescending, but I kind of called them like the Among Us police, you know? hashinshin has been investigated by the FBI. You should probably let them do their job. And I understand, like, not everyone in an institution is professional, but I, I surely doubt that Voy Boy is any more professional than these people, you know? If Hashinshin did anything illegal... Or if he's a harmful person, he's had psych evaluations. You know, I don't think he's a... I stated in my message, I don't think he's a neurotypical person. You know, when I was his mod, like, uh, I, I told my story about... I had, like, a, a lady friend of mine, and she... I did I kind of inadvertently uh, introduced her to Shin Shin, and they had a negative experience. Yeah, she was over 18. But, you know, she felt he was kind of a creep. And, you know, they, they just went their separate ways, you know. So, in my experience, I felt like Hashinshin kind of had like a, you know, maybe like a, was overly sexual with a lot of people. And as a mod... Like, I, I, I viewed that kind of as his private life. Eventually, I kind of stopped being a mod for Hushinshin. Not because of this. But, uh, you know, I had my own personal life to deal with. And so when I come back, I'm starting to watch Hushinshin again. Like, I'm still, I'm still a fan. I like his music. You know, I could talk about how his, pers his persistence is what I always, like, uh, I find fascinating. The guy gets power ganked, you know, and he just keeps going at it. He just keeps barreling forward, and I admire that in his shishin. And I'd like to say I admire some things in Voy Boy, but, you know, it kind of comes off as a as a tool to me. Guy still calls himself a boy, and he's like, what? Well, this, this guy's old now. <laughs> I, I, it's probably made that joke, but... <sighs> Let's stay on topic. I'm gonna pause for a second and collect my thoughts. So I apologize for my quality or something or anything like that. But, you know, so. You know, it turns out that Hashinshin's lifestyle, he ran into some problems from that. And, uh, you know, he's had a hard time with that. I could tell that. And I think he's actively, you know, Reflecting on his experiences and moving forward. Uh, a more knowledgeable person. As for Void Boy's evidence, you know, with this, uh, he, he had all these victims, right? And the first person, I could see that. I could see Hashinshin did that. And Hashinshin doesn't deny that. I don't think he likes admitting it, you know. That's something that happened. And, uh, I don't know all the details. I don't follow all the Voy Boy evidence, you know. And I don't follow all the Hashinshin evidence. This is, you know, kind of Twitter drama. Let the FBI deal with it. That's, you know, my thing. But, from what I could gather is, like, uh, the age of consent in Sweden is 15. If Sweden wants to do that, then that's on Sweden. And I'm sorry that offends anybody but I've always 
come up with the belief that, you know, if someone's doing something to you online, this might be a mind blower, but you could always just walk away. And I understand if the girl's 15, maybe she might not be that smart enough to know that. But I was a pretty smart 15 year old, you know. And again, my life experiences, they've, uh, you know, made me very cautious. So what works for me doesn't work for everybody. It's a shitty situation. His Shinshin feels shitty about it. I think this person feels shitty about it. Everyone feels shitty about it. But where do you go from there? You know, did he do anything illegal? Maybe immoral. You know, maybe harmful, but, you know, I guess guess it's trying. But the other people, you know, I think all Boy Boy really had was like that first person. The evidence just doesn't really add up for me. It's just, it's just a gobbledygook of, you know, just like, well, if there's smoke, there's fire, you know, and from my experience with child predators, and I'm not an expert, but people actively look out for this type of stuff, you know, like people hate child predators because they do a lot of damage to groups and it affects just so many people. And this is probably pretty obvious stuff, but, you know, I think there was, I think maybe if no one intervened, maybe it could have gotten worse of his shin shin. You know, I think the guy, like I said, I think the guy was over, overly sexual. He had some problems, but those are being addressed. What he's actually done, I don't think is that bad. You know, in the grand scheme of things. But my view of reality might be a little bit, you know, skewed to some people. When I have a problem in life and things don't go my way, you know, I, I try to look on the good side and I'm like, oh, well, at least people live, you know? I don't want to say that like, my, my life is so bad, but, you know, I just, I've been through some stuff. So... When it comes to victims, maybe this is my shitty philosophy, but no one cares about victims. I'm not expecting anyone to care about me publishing this, I'm expecting to get like one view. Probably from myself. Maybe anyone stalking me or something like that, but no one cares about victims. If you feel like you're a victim, you have to. It's victims like a social construct. You have to just look out for yourself and you have to just keep going forward. You have to care about yourself. And you gotta you gotta do it for yourself, you know. No one's gonna help you. I don't think Boy Boy stands with victims. I think he stands on top of victims to make himself look better. And I think it's kind of shitty that he deleted my, what I feel like is like a new, neutral observation. You know. That's kind of just what I said. I think he was kind of opening. He was kind of said, oh, if you if you need any information from me or, you know, can't, it kind of came off as this full transparency type of thing. Hell no. Boy Boy is a boy brand. You know. stands on top of victims. No one cares really about the mentally ill. You might say you do, you know, but at the end of the day, no one ever is going to. You have to do it for yourself. Maybe in the short run, you get some help. Hey, if anyone needs to talk, someone to talk to, at least in the meanwhile, I'm here. You could probably find me. I'll listen to your story. You know, I've listened to the, I've listened to this story from Shinshin and Boy Boy. And all I'm gonna say is, uh, I think Shinshin's clear. I think his Twitch ban was unjust. I think 
it being in place just allows more disinformation. And, uh, yeah, that's that. Now, full transparency, like I said, I'm a fan of the guy. I'd like to be a fan of Oi Boy, but, uh, yeah, I, I don't think, uh, yeah, I don't think I like the guy very much after deleting my what I had to say. And, you know, as long as Shishinshin doesn't do anything to hurt anybody. You know, it's not like he it's not like Shishinshin's going in people's houses and, you know, raping them at gunpoint and still into silverware. You know? Guy just did some sexual stuff on the internet. Was like a lot of women, and it kind of made him look pretty shitty. But hey, that's life. There's some people out there that are not, you know, your everyday cup of tea. And I don't necessarily respect Shinshin for that behavior, but I respect him for his endurance. And, uh,. Like I said, you know, I find that it's inspirational I, 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 that he's, like, moving forward. And I hope everyone else is able to move forward. Cut the video.